Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Faizan from Qatar and in this problem we have to find the area of the large square. So here we have a large square and we have a circle which is in blue color which is inscribed inside the square and all the sides of the square are tangent to this blue circle and inside that blue circle we have one more circle which has one common tangent with this blue circle. So this side of the square is a common tangent to both blue and black circles and then we are given this much length is equal to 4 units and this length is equal to 6 units and we have to find the area of the large square that means we have to find the area of this big square. So how to find this area? See here these two circles share this tangent that means the line joining the centers of those two circles will be perpendicular to this tangent, right? And this will be the center for this blue circle and the center for this black circle will be somewhere over here. So if I name these points, I'm interested in these points. Let this point be point O and let this point be point P and let this point be Q and this point be R. So QR and OP are actually the chords of this black inner circle and our purpose is to find the area of this large square and if you can see this larger square is actually divided into four smaller square. So if I assume the length of each small square as x, the length of this large square will be equal to 2x. Right? And if I name this point as x, these two chords intersecting each other at point x. And we have one theorem of the intersecting chords where if you have two chords which are intersecting each other at point x, then qx multiplied by xr is actually equal to px multiplied by xo. I have already explained this theorem in one of my videos and I'll be providing you the link of that video in the description section of this video. So if you want you can refer to the proof of this theorem which I am using over here. So if I assume this much length is equal to x then qx and xr will actually be equal to x minus 4. So this will be x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 4. This will be equal to px px is equal to x minus 6 multiplied by xo. xo will be equal to x. So this is x square minus 8x plus 16 is equal to x square minus 6x. So this x square will cancel this x square and from here I can write 2x is equal to 16 or you can say x is equal to 8. So if x is equal to 8 the total length of each side of this bigger square will be 2 times x that is 8 multiplied by 2 that is 16. So the area of bigger square will actually be equal to 16 multiplied by 16 that is 256 square units. Right? So it was very simple and if you also have any problem for which you need a solution you can send your problem to the number shown on the screen and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it. And don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.